Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I want to do a review of this uh, compact evolution mitre saw and I have it here and um, I originally bought it uh, around 18 months ago to help me with building this workshop so I used it to cut a lot of framing and feverage board things like that a lot of repetitive cuts which with a handsaw would have took forever so um, since then I've actually uh, been using it for many other projects and um, it's been really useful so I thought after 18 months it would be a really good time to give it a proper review and a look at. So here it is, so let's take a closer look at it. Okay so the unit came with uh, the following items, the dust bag was actually an optional extra at the time so I added the dust bag and uh, it also came with the manual and the safety clamp to clamp your work pieces and an allen key for making adjustments. So the bag pops on um, nice and easily, it has a zip at the bottom to remove any dust and there's just a spring clip that clips it over the hole and you can also use a dust extractor on here as well. So here is the adjustable workpiece clamp which you can actually use on the left side or the right side of the saw and you can see how it clamps together there and this helps to keep a workpiece stabilized So it has this nice locking feature so when you're moving it around you can keep it tucked away and then you can lift it into position when you want to use it. And it has a safety handle so you push the top lever and then the bottom lever which I have found very comfortable to use. It has um, a screw fixing on the back and that allows you to adjust and tilt the blade so if you want to do um, bevel cuts and you can also adjust the fence so that when you do um, a tilted cut it doesn't cut through the fence It also has this uh, stabilizing arm at the back to keep everything nice and stable. And you can easily adjust the saw for mitre cuts. And they will lock into position at certain intervals. going all the way up to 45 degrees so I've been using this as I say for 18 months and I've used it uh, with many different materials um, wood plastic metal and because it has a multi-purpose blade um, it cuts through pretty much anything I've thrown at it so far with no problem at all You can see here I'm just doing a standard mitre cut. So this saw has plenty of power and it's very lightweight as well. It packs away very easily, you can take it with you on jobs. And as you can see here it cuts through metal. So I was uh, making a desk recently and I needed to cut down these uh, metal legs and this saw cut through them no problem and you can also see there I've got some angle iron which was quite thick and uh, if you just take your time the blade will cut through mild steel such as this
And again, here I'm making a bird box. Cuts very well, even after 18 months of use. So would I recommend this saw? I would. For um, anyone who wants a very cheap, lightweight saw, and anybody who's getting into DIY, it's very reliable and it's very useful. And for the price, I don't really think it can be beaten, in my opinion. So if you found this video useful, please leave me a like and also consider subscribing for more videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.